Hey guys. Um, so I decided to do an, a video on Olivia's Christmas present. Her big Christmas present this year is going to be a kind of like do-it-yourself kitchen set. I'm showing it out in my fridge because I'm showing you in case you're doing a, fridge, a kitchen set. I know that um, Lindsay is. Um, so I thought I'd show this little guy. You can get these, at least where we live, you can get these little mini gallons. Well, they're not gallons, but they look like mini gallons of milk. I think they're actually like a quart. Yeah, they are. And so we're going to, you know, use this up, and then I'm going to put some white paint in it, shake it around so that inside gets all coated with white, and then glue the lid on. I guess I wouldn't have to glue the lid on, but I don't want to get lost. So I'll probably glue the lid on, and then use that for a little gallon of milk, and then do the same thing with this little tiny orange juice. So that's that. I'm not showing myself because right now I'm wearing Ugg Boots Humorous Santa Pants from when I was pregnant and like an old sweatshirt. <laughs> so come downstairs with me. I'm going to cover you up so you don't get dizzy. I'm going to take you down here and show you what we've been working on. Sorry, I'm still walking. So if you get sick, beware. All right. So this is the kitchen set. It has stuff sitting all over it. And I actually bought this. I'll show it to you better in a second. I actually bought this. This is the oven door. Let's see if it'll stay for a second. So, here's what it looks like. There's a little thing. I'll take this stuff off. The faucet. And then the little burners. And then the other side is just plain pink. But basically what we're doing, I bought it. I bought this uh, minus this curtain. I've changed this curtain out to this fabric. It came with um, black and white zebra fabric because this is just like a little shelf. Um, we bought it like this with a zebra curtain. And we actually bought it in Minneapolis. That's where my aunt lives. And my mother-in-law also lives. We bought it there. And my aunt picked it up. And then my mother-in-law came down for Thanksgiving. So she wrote it down. And we actually bought this for $15, which I thought was a really great deal. Um, I'll show you some of the things. Wow. We're going to do to it. Sorry. My husband actually, these are magnetized doors down here. Oh, this one still is. And my husband actually took one of the magnets off because he was going to try We Okay, basically what we're doing to it. Sorry. I'm, I'm looking at the thing at, at you guys. Sorry. What we're going to do to it is we're going to build a back onto it, like right here. With the top shelf. And then the back, imagine it has a piece of wood back there. There's going to be a window on one side and then a little shelf on the other side. And then the sides are going to just come about halfway, about to here. And then on this side, I have a little mailbox that I made. Well, I didn't make the mailbox. The mailbox is old. It's like from um, the dollar section one year at Valentine's Day. Anyways. And so then the top flips forward, and I made these little cards with, like, scrapbooking stamps. I'll show you. I made just these little cards that look like, you know, real cards. So she can put those in there. Sorry, she's upstairs asleep, so I was trying to see if she was crying or not. I don't think she is. So they will fit in there. And then, I didn't actually know at the time when I bought it that it had this chalk, we believe this is a chalkboard spot. We didn't know it had that. So I have found, real cheap, this. And it's a little chalkboard that looks like a, um, looks like a chalkboard sticker that looks like a pear. And then... I had made this little eraser for an eraser side and then this little side where I'm going to tie the chalk. And I was going to put that on the little side of the kitchen, but I'm not, I don't know, I can't really decide what to do. And then, oh, my mom is also going to make, um, my mom made this new curtain for here, and so she's also going to make a matching curtain 
to go like on the little window in the back. Um, what else? I'm going to try to make a little, she's obsessed with phones, and so I'm going to try to like make a little phone caddy and put one of my old cell phones and hang that somewhere, maybe by this board. I might just have two chalkboard spots. Make one kind of like a message board and one maybe like a menu board. Um, what else? Oh, I can show you. Um, I'll show you the table real quick. We had this table. It's the table from Ikea. And um, I'm trying to move some of the stuff so you can see. And I repainted it. Um, these are the animals from the fabric. I just hand drew them and repainted them. And then the legs are brown with polka dots. And then this is one of the chairs. And I'm trying to debate if it's too plain or not, if I should paint on some of the seat spots polka dots. And then I have the other chair to do as well. Um, so this today we're working on the back of here, which we have built. Maybe I'll show you it's outside. Um, which And we're trying to decide what color because we didn't know if we could match this pink. And then I didn't know if it would look like too much pink with this hot pink color. So we're I'm kind of leaning towards a lighter pink like this. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Um, the paint that I bought isn't covering very well. So I'll see how that goes. Also, I'm making little buttons for the stove. The stove doesn't have buttons. So I'm making stove buttons. And then I'm also making, let me see if they're still in here. Whoops, sorry. These little guys, which I need to 